2002, her highest monthly check is over $37,000, and she's a Mary Kay millionaire with over $4 million in commissions. She's proud to have Deb Ware debut as a national sales director from her area. She's a four-time gold circle achiever, a seven-time diamond circle achiever, and your number three national for the Sapphire Seminar. Ladies and gentlemen, Independent Senior National Sales Director, Dave Ann Mahler. Hello from Nebraska. Mary Kay is my career. What is it for you? A side gig or a hustle? Part-time work? A hobby? Any way you choose, you are a part of the U economy. In 2016, Success Magazine defined the U economy as the growing global network of people who are taking the future of work into their own hands. In studies, Success found that people working in the U economy have three things in common. They have more control over how they spend their time. They have more control over their income and they are actively learning and exploring new ways of creating prosperity. Sounds like the Mary Kay opportunity to me. In 1963, Mary Kay Ash opened the doors to an opportunity that has provided all of that and more for over 56 years. In my opinion, Mary Kay was one of the first to offer an opportunity that allowed more control of time, more income, and more ways to create wealth. She was masterful at creating a movement similar to today's U economy. I met Mary Kay and actually held her hand while we had a photo made during my new sales director education event. As a new director, I hung on every word. She said she was proud of us for becoming sales directors and in the same breath told us not to take a break, to go home and go to work building our unit size to 50. And then she told us not to take a break until our unit size was 100. When I think back to what I learned the most from that lesson, it would be that she did not want any of us to rest on our laurels. A favorite Mary Kay quote, nothing wilts faster than a laurel rested upon. Today, we are all creating a new normal for ourselves and our families. You are intelligent at-home business leaders in your community finding new ways to work. When you said yes to the Mary Kay opportunity, you said yes to direct sales and you are a part of the U economy movement. Mary Kay can be the doorway to your best life. You can find that something more that you need on your Mary Kay journey. You do not have to be perfect. You simply have to be persistent. I'll tell you how hope and persistence paved the way for me to find my best life. I'll begin with my first Mary Kay memory. I was raised on a ranch in Aladdin, Wyoming, population 15. In second grade, I admired my teacher. She was filled with enthusiasm and had a zest for life. One day I found myself wishing that my teacher could be my mom. When I got home from school, dad told me that mom was at a party. When it was time for bed, I prayed that she would get home safe and I promised never to wish for Mrs. Pearson to be my mom again. I will never forget hearing her voice the next morning. And in the bathroom, I found a pink tray filled with Mary Kay's complete collection. I went to the kitchen. There was my beautiful mom humming a song. She smiled at us and showed us her new look. Her brunette curly hair was freshly washed and she smelled of Mary Kay's classic fragrance, Intrigue. 
I went to school that day so excited about my new mom. We live life forward and we understand it backwards. What I did not understand in second grade, I understand today. My mom was suffering from depression. She had lost the three most important men in her life, her husband, my dad, her brother, and her father, all in car-related accidents. My mom did not have the avenues of healing available today. She did have a Mary Kay beauty consultant, and that Mary Kay party changed her life. I believe that having a night of pampering helped her to feel better about herself on the outside, and that gave her courage to heal on the inside. I signed my first agreement and became a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant during my first year of college. I had lost direction in my life, and my mom could hear depression in my voice. When I was home for Christmas, she arranged a Mary Kay appointment for us. She wanted Mary Kay to help me like it helped her. I started Mary Kay that day because I did not have the heart to disappoint her. I hid my kit in the closet and I terminated a year later. I signed my second agreement after my 21st birthday party. I was a junior in college and my girlfriends wanted me to help with makeup before we went dancing. I used samples from my kit and they asked if I sold Mary Kay. When they wanted to purchase products, I did not have the courage to tell the truth. I started Mary Kay again, made the deliveries and terminated a short year later. I had dreamed of being many things when I grew up. Being a Mary Kay beauty consultant was never on the list. Being Miss Rodeo Wyoming was, I left college and I earned that title and traveled representing Wyoming and the sport of rodeo. After that year, I fell in love, got married, and started my first real job. I was working for a photographer. One day my boss said to me with a big smile, I hear you sell Mary Kay. He wanted me to help with glamor shoots. He asked me to do a look for his wife and daughter. I found one of my old kits gave them makeovers. Would you believe they wanted to buy it all? <laughs> I signed up a third time. Am I giving you hope? You don't have to be perfect. You simply have to be persistent. We were married a year when I finally made the decision to look at Mary Kay's opportunity as a serious business choice. We were newlyweds on the verge of bankruptcy. I decided to work my business and pretend that Mary Kay was my university, MKU. A two-year degree would be earning the use of a career car. A four-year degree would be becoming a sales director. I would get my master's when I earned the use of a pink caddy. And I would finish with a PhD when I became a national sales director. This pink journey has been so worth it. In the beginning, it was a personal growth adventure, learning to love the girl in the mirror. And today it provides financial options beyond my wildest dreams. I would do it all again. Every no, every disappointment, every bad day. I failed forward to success. The only thing I consistently did right was start over. The Mary Kay opportunity provided hope, and the education I received from Mary Kay Advance taught me skills and persistence. I did not go from being a quitter to a successful NSD overnight. I invested time in education, time in building customers and teams of teams. You invested in yourself when you said yes to attending this virtual seminar. Take advantage of the U economy and all the ways to do your Mary Kay business. Hold virtual and in-person parties. Establish 50 customers and don't take a break until you build to 100. Build teams of teams and grow your business 
and get your own degree at MKU. This is your time to spark a chain reaction and create your own best life now. Have a wonderful seminar.